Canva just announced a new set of video editing features and in this video we are going to look into that. What is up everyone, my name is Ronnie, welcome back to our channel. This is the right place for you if you want to learn how to design with Canva. And when I say design, it's not just graphic design, it's anything design. You can learn how to create beautiful video projects now with Canva. And that is exactly the topic of this video. Indeed, Canva recently announced some new video features. I'm not gonna spoil it right now, but this tutorial is going to show you six easy steps to start creating videos with Canva as of today. We are going to learn about this new opt-in video experience. So Canva now allows all users, free and pro users, to start playing around and editing videos with a proper timeline. Yes, you heard it right, timeline. So I'm going to get into that in the video. And I'm going to show you exactly what to do to participate in this experiment program that Canva is launching to test these new features. All right, so just a reminder, this is my Canva free account because I wanted to show you that anyone can have access to this video timeline and these video features. So I'm going to work entirely from my Canva free account. When you see this little gradient logo with me and a sticker on my forehead, it's my free account. I barely use it because I much prefer the Canva Pro account, but for the sake of this video, I thought it would be good to start from here. All right, so first and foremost, let me show you how to opt in to this video experiment on Canva. So this is the homepage. This is what you should be seeing when you log into your Canva homepage and you will see here different icons, right? So when you click on the video icon, now you will have a series of video doc types or document types. So you'll have the classic video, 1920 by 1080, Facebook videos, video message, mobile video, etc., etc., TikTok stuff. So just click on any of these. So these are called video document types. Make sure you are on the video tab and I'm going to click on the classic one, the classic video tab right here. And now you see this pop up Canva video editor open beta. So making a video, try our new and free video editor for access to a video editing timeline transitions and multiple audio track. So once you're here, you can click on try it for free. Okay, you can say no thanks. And it would just close this pop up and you won't have access to the new experience, the new video timeline so that you can edit on this timeline. So just go ahead and click uh, try it for free, but you can also watch the video here. So Canva has created a very cool video. I'm gonna play a little bit of it, not too much. I gotta hit the beat. So I highly recommend you watch this video. It's only two minutes, super pumped up. I, I love the video. And also in the video, they kind of explain briefly, they, they showcase the different steps that I'm going to dive much deeper into in this video. But for now, I'm gonna click try it for free and start explaining how all of this works. Okay, so that's what you will see. You will see something different here at the bottom of your screen with a play button a first rectangle and then a plus button, okay? So this is your video editing timeline. I want to respect a certain chronology in this tutorial, so I'm going to bring it back to the beginning and explain the first step. We will be covering six steps in this tutorial. The first step is to start your project. So you can start your project from scratch just like I'm doing right now, this is a blank canvas, a blank video, there's nothing here. So I can start here if I have and I want to develop my own vision or if I need a little help and I need a little inspiration, I can start with a video template, okay? So because I am in a video document type, remember I, I clicked on this doc type right here that says video, I am in the video doc type and so the templates that are going to be displayed to me in the templates tab right here. Just make sure you are on templates, are video templates. And for example, there is here about happy birthday, big sister. So I'm gonna click on that and you see there are three kind of scenes. Let's call them scenes instead of pages. Canva still names them pages. So you can apply these three pages to your document. Let's see what happens here. But these are three different video clips. You see like a couple of seconds each. So that's four seconds each. And this one is five. I'm gonna apply all of these to my 
project here and you see what happened canva kind of like displayed the three different scenes on this timeline and now i have this time indicator that is kind of moving through a timeline like a video editing program software so that is the first step you can start your project from scratch that means you open a blank document you, you start with a blank page or you can start inspired with a template that's what we did here we selected this happy birthday sister template and we applied all of the pages all of the scenes from that template to the timeline step number two is to select your video ingredients from the canva library so let me show you what I mean by that. If I go back to the elements tab right here on the left panel, I can search for video stuff from here. You see here, I can see a category that says video. I can see graphics, but let's say I need for this happy birthday, I need cake. So cake, and I will go to videos. You see these different tabs here on top of the elements tab. I have other tabs like sub tabs. Click on video for your cake. And now you have a collection of different different video clips from the Canva library. So though some of you might be already familiar with this, but this is basically how you kind of select your ingredients. So I like this one right here. What I can do is to take it and grab it and put it wherever I want on my timeline. I'm going to grab it and put it here after this second clip right there. Okay, so I have my second clip and then I have my video clip right here. Okay, so that is one kind of ingredient you can find, video ingredient you can find in the Canva library. These are video clips. If you're a pro user, you will have access to more. You will unlock all of the video clips from the library. Okay, so that is video clip that is very nice. What else can you find? You can find graphics and you could find animated graphics. So if you click on the settings here, you can tick the animated box okay and apply this filter and now canva will show you graphics that are animated so that contributes to bring some movement to your design so because we want to design a video stuff need to move so this is very cool so for example i can use this one and also add that to my timeline right here okay so now i'm just adding more element i'm just adding more ingredients to my video recipe here on the Canva timeline. That is step number two, selecting ingredients, video ingredients from the Canva library. Another type of ingredient you can add is audio. Okay, so once you are right here on the elements tab, you can also search for audio. So you have to scroll down a bit and you will see the audio category you Can click on see all and you will see that your music, your songs, your tracks will be divided into genres like pop, epic, piano, instrumental, vocal, etc., etc. I want something happy for this song and you can click on see all for any of these genres. So I'm gonna click on happy and see all. So just one thing you need to be aware of is that you have some free tracks. When you hover over the track, it says free or this one here says pro with a little crown. If it says pro and you click on it, you will be able to add it to your timeline so this will come here right underneath your video track. You'll have your first audio track and it seems like you can play it. But at the moment of downloading your video, that's what you want to do. You will be prompted to pay three Australian dollars here in my case, because I'm here in Australia to be able to download this video with this particular track because you're not a Canva Pro user. This is my free account. So I don't want to do that for now. I want to use a free track. So I'm just going to use the first one right here. So this is a free track. I'm happy with this. I see here my cake has been moving slightly. I want to bring it back to where it was. So now I have my timeline with my music here, the happy music. So this is what I wanted to show you here. Now, after selecting all of these ingredients and importing them in our project, we can move on to step number three, which is to create your video scenes on the timeline. So that is a big novelty in Canva. And I believe what is going to propel Canva into a video editing software, it is that timeline. It is critical for any video editing software to have a timeline. Otherwise, it's really difficult to edit videos. But now with this new feature, the video timeline and transitions, I'm gonna to get to this in a moment, you can create scenes. So I can move them around. So you see, I have my first scene here. Let me play it. So it's just like a title, 
that is coming with some information happy birthday big sister then it moves to you and your sister and then you have the cake the animated sticker and then the final message so that is very cute that is very nice it's a short video indeed so right now canva probably won't be able to edit a full documentary but for short and snappy videos like this one, I would say under two minutes for now, this is a great tool. So step number three is really to create your scenes with different vibes and you can add transitions. You see the little plus button here in between each of my clips. If I click on it, I have different things. I can add a page by clicking on the plus page icon or I can change the transition right now. There is no transition, I believe, between the first and the second scene of my project. It's just the second scene appearing. But if I click on the plus and then the lower button, change transition. Now Canva has this new transition menu. You see it's by default is going to be on none. So no transition. But you have here four different transitions to choose from. You have dissolve, slide, circle wipe and line wipe. So this is pretty cool because it's basically the classic type of transition you would find in other video editing software. Dissolve is like a fade. Slide is when one scene is going to push the other. Circle wipe is this kind of wipe, like circle closing down or opening up effect. And line wipe, you would have a line swiping your screen, just pushing one scene to the side or to the like one of the sides of your project could be up down left or right okay so let's try one let's try line wipe okay you see what happened here so we had this line right here pushing from the right to the left and that is let me come back to the transition here you can choose the direction of your wipe you see if you hover over the direction it will show you how it looks like you don't have to click so right now it's still clicked on the first one i can click on the second one so from left to right, up, down. I like left to right for now. You can choose the duration as well. So it's going to be much slower. I like it to be snappier, maybe half a second, like so. Yeah, this looks good. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So easy transition, super easy to create different transitions between your scene with this new change transition button. So look for it in between the scenes you have created. So now I'm moving to the scene number two. I'm going to click on change transition. And now from the two sisters to the cake, I'm going to choose the circle wipe. Yes, why not in or out? Let's see what's best probably out like so this is good duration all good and you see there's another button that you can apply the same type of transition to all of your pages or all of your scenes don't really want that because i like the diversity and to craft my transition myself so you have your circle wipe and you see it's kind of represented you see a circle here and then here you see kind of like two scenes pushing each other the last thing i need to do is to add a transition to my last bit right here i'm going to continue with my line wipes but this time here I had let me see yeah I had left to right so I'm gonna come back here with right to left 0.5 second that's fine and I think this is what I want all right this is probably not the best video in the world guys I'm just trying to show you and explain to you the different features here and how to use them okay so one more thing very important thing I want to show you is that you can now add multiple audio track to your timeline so up until now you could only add one track per Canva project. And a lot of members of the community were kind of complaining about only one track, really. What if I want to add sound effect? What if I want to add a recording of my voice on a talking presentation, for example, and some music? Now it is possible. So to add a second track, okay, let me find another free audio track. Okay, happy ukulele. I just need a free one. Maybe I switch to another category, happy, like bright. Okay, safety net. And you see, I have now a second track right here and I can shorten this track and I can move it around. For example, I want this track to be exactly the length of my second clip right here. So for that, let me play it. Okay, so I have my first track, let me. 
Okay, so I have more music coming on top of each other. So it's really a question of you now kind of audio mixing. And in order to do this, you can click on the track and you will see a little speaker icon right here. So you can decide to lower the volume or what you can do is simply to reduce this track like so. So I'm just dragging it with my mouse here. Then the second one starts and then what you could do, I need to go back to find it. So a happy instrumental, that's my ukulele song. I will grab this and start from here. Great. And I can move this track to another place on my timeline. So I'm bringing it up here and I will use that for the rest of the video. So now if I play this project again from the beginning, which I'm not going to do because it's pretty long, but yes, let me grab my time indicator here. So I have my second scenes with a different music and then we'll transition back to the first track. All right, so you can now play around with multiple audio track. That is what I wanted to show you. And of course, you can also modify each of the scenes, like the audio clips. So if you click on it, you can make it shorter or longer directly from here. Or if you select one, you will see the duration here. You can click on that and you can trim it like so as well. Now, I think you get the point of how to create your scenes with Canva on your video editing timeline. Now, moving on to step number four, which is bringing these scenes to life with Canva. You can animate pretty much everything that you have on screen here. And I can see the first scene, for example. So it's taken from the template. So it might come with some preset animations on the template. You can see, for example, they are coming from the bottom, these boxes right here. That is because there is a preset animation on that specific scene. And you can see it here, it says rise. So if I click here and I go to none, now if I play this, it's just gonna be plain on screen. What you see moving is an animated sticker. Remember, these are two different animated stickers. They're grouped. Okay, got it. I can ungroup them if I want. But what I want to show you here in the step number four is that you can animate all the different parts of your scene pretty easily with the animate button. So right here, for example, if you click on animate and you have nothing selected on your page, you can animate your entire page. Okay, so if I click rise, like before, which is the animation that came with the template. Now, if I play it again, see again, they will rise from the bottom of the page. So that's because I clicked on the animate button and selected the rise animation. Okay, one other control that Canva gives you is this little timer right here. You can set the duration of this animation. So right here it's 10.5 seconds. So it will rise up and then rise down. If I play the end of this clip, see it, it moves back up before it transitions. But if I didn't have this transition here, I would have all of the elements rising up and disappearing from my page. So that is the thing. You have an animation in and animation out. So if you use any of these animations, it's always going to be in and out. So just remember that for now. Maybe in the future, we'll have more control over these features, but for now it is how it is. So let me try another animation. For example, this pen animation and play that from the beginning again. Okay, so now you see they are panning from the side and they will also disappear at the end. There's always an in and an out animation. All right, so that is if you want to animate your entire scene, meaning all of the ingredients, all of the elements on that specific scene, so all of the boxes. But what if I want to animate just one thing? So let me show you. First, I'm gonna get rid of the animation. So I'm gonna click on none here, okay, so none. So nothing is animated, just the sticker, but that's not a preset animation, that's just an animated sticker. Now I want one thing to be animated and that is the big sis part, okay? So I will click on this and you see it's a group of things. It's a text box and then there's a shape behind it, the pink shape. So it is already grouped, let it group 
everything that is grouped will act as one element. Just remember that rule. If you want to animate a specific group of elements, first group it and then animate, okay? So the group is selected. I'm gonna click on the animate button. And you see now I have an extra option right here, an extra tab. We have page animations and text animation. So now, because I clicked on this and it has a text box in it, I can animate this as a text. For example, the bounce, I have different types of animation. I like the bounce, so I'm gonna keep the bounce and I'm gonna go back to the beginning and show you how it works again. You see? So now I've decided to animate only one specific element. And you can do this for all elements. For example, you can really be creative here and add different transition to different elements. Now I have added three different transitions to three different elements. Don't go over the top because that is a classic video editor mistake. When you start video editing, you just like go crazy with all transition. Usually less is more when it comes to transition, but it's really for you to have some fun. I just wanted to demonstrate here for the purposes of this video that you can animate individual elements as well as your entire scene. Just remember to select the group of element you want to animate and then click on the animate button. Right now it's bounce, but it should say animate if you are on none like so, and then select which element you desire to animate. All right, so this is step number four, moving on to step number five. Step number five is one of my favorite because it allows you an extra layer of customization and that is the possibility to record yourself. I've already talked about this feature on the channel, but it is called in editor recording. And the way to find it, you need to click on your upload button right here and you will see a button that says record yourself. Hi, you will see a kind of a preview of your setup. So you will have your camera, your default microphone. I'm gonna change that to my road so I have a better audio. And then you can click on start recording once you are happy with the result and it will start recording your webcam and your microphone. Hey, oh, you will have a countdown. Sorry about that. You'll have a countdown. Hey, big sister, happy birthday to you. I love you and I can't wait to celebrate with you. Okay, so I recorded my message. So I clicked on end recording and now I have this message that is captured here. You can save and record another one or you can save and go back to editing. So that's what I'm gonna do. We have a countdown. Hey, big sister, happy birthday to you. I love you. Okay, so now you see that the video is uploading in my upload media. It is right here. It's recorded perfectly, but there is a little bit too much at the beginning and a little bit too much at the end that I don't want. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this and I'm going to create another scene right here and add my video. Hey, big sister, happy birthday to you. Another thing I want to show you is that you can add your video into different types of grids. So if I go back to my template here, you see this template had a grid here. Actually, it has the same one here. So, okay, change of mind, which is fine. I'm going to go back to my upload button and take my video and bring it to the page. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to hey, trim sister. it. Hey, big sister, happy birthday to... Hey, big sister. Hey, big sister. Okay, I'm hey, gonna start sister. here. Happy birthday. You see what I did? I just clicked on the video. Let me do this again. So I just clicked on my video, clicked on the scissor. You, I love you and I can't wait to cele celebrate with you. Okay, celebrate with you. Around seven seconds, I should stop. So I'm gonna trim from the back all the way to 6.5. Hey, big sister. Happy birthday to you. I love you and I can't wait to celebrate with you. Okay, this is good. Now, this video is trimmed. I can place it in the frame. So this is really cool. You can see like I trimmed my video and I placed it in the frame and now it's part of my video and it fits nicely in my template. Let's have a look. Hey, big sister. Happy birthday to you. Okay, so I noticed straight away that the sound of this video clip is way too high. So I can click here, adjust. Maybe I can choose a different part of the song. I'm just going to use the beginning, but I'm going to reduce the volume by using this little volume button right here and bring this way lower to 25. Okay, let's play that again. Hey, big sister, happy birthday to you. I love you. Okay, so what I see is that this video clip is a little bit too long. Big sister, happy birthday to you. I and this one could probably start a little bit earlier. Let me see if I can zoom in 
this video timeline. Yes, I can. This is pretty good. Let me get to the right place. Now I feel like I'm editing a video in Canva. This is awesome. Okay, so I want to move this slightly. So we have a clean audio transition. Big sister, happy birthday to you. I love you. Okay, all right. I think now it's clean. Let me bring the time indicator back here. Big sister, happy birthday to you. I love you and I can't wait to celebrate with you. Okay, so I probably need to adjust my audio clip, my video clip that I recorded of myself a little bit more. The transition at the end is a little bit too snappy, but I think you get the point. You can record yourself, which is awesome, and basically create all sorts of videos. I mean, you could probably create tutorials in the same manner. You could create all sorts of explainer video, talking presentations, vlogging, anything you want really. But for now, try to keep them short until maybe Canva rolls out more features but try to see also if you can push it to the limit like how big can you create with canva and canva video me i'm super excited about this this is really the first major step towards canva becoming a video editing solution which is super complete and i'm really looking forward to this right step number six is optional it is if you want to collaborate with your team you can always share that design. Let me show you. So you see the big share button right here. Because this is my free account, I don't have a team on this account. But if you did have a team, you would see the different members of your team and you could share that project with them. Uh, a different way to sharing this project and so that they can collaborate with you on the project would be to go here, share a link to edit. I would copy this link and send that to a teammate. For example, Diana, I could send that link to Diana and she could come and work with me on this project, collaborate, we could message. But that is probably some features for another video. Let us know what you think about this new world opening up, the world of video editing. It is super exciting. Are you already signed up like to this opt-in video editing experience? Have you tried it yet? If yes, what do you think? Like, what are your first impressions? Where do you think this could go? I'm really interested of knowing. So let us know in the comments. And by all means, every time Canva will release major features that kind of make it an even better video editing solution, we will cover them on this channel. So make sure you subscribe so you never miss these updates. And that is what I wanted to share with you today. You can check out some other videos we might have for you right here about creating videos with Canva. I know Diana loves to make them. And that's it for me. I wish you a very good day and I'll see you in the next video.